Ezekiel 13 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who are prophesying, and say to those who prophesy from their own hearts, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Your prophets have been like jackals among ruins, O Israel. You have not gone up into the breaches or built up a wall for the house of Israel that it might stand in battle in the day of the Lord. They have seen false visions and lying divinations. They say, declares the Lord, when the Lord has not sent them, and yet they expect him to fulfill their word. Have you not seen a false vision and uttered a lying divination whenever you have said, declares the Lord, although I have not spoken? Therefore thus says the Lord God, because you have uttered falsehood and seen lying visions, therefore behold, I am against you, declares the Lord God. My hand will be against the prophets who see false visions and who give lying divinations. They shall not be in the council of my people, nor be enrolled in the register of the house of Israel, nor shall they enter the land of Israel, and you shall know that I am the Lord God. Precisely because they have misled my people, saying, Peace, when there is no peace, and because when the people build a wall, these prophets smear it with whitewash. Say to those who smear it with whitewash that it shall fall. There will be a deluge of rain, and you, O great hailstones, will fall, and a stormy wind break out. And when the wall falls, will it not be said to you, Where is the coating with which you smeared it? Therefore thus says the Lord God, I will make a stormy wind break out in my wrath, and there shall be a deluge of rain in my anger, and great hailstones in wrath to make a full end. And I will break down the wall that you have smeared with whitewash, and bring it down to the ground, so that its foundation will be laid bare. When it falls, you shall perish in the midst of it, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Thus will I spend my wrath upon the wall, and upon those who have smeared it with whitewash, and I will say to you, The wall is no more, nor those who smeared it, the prophets of Israel who prophesied concerning Jerusalem and saw visions of peace for her when there was no peace, declares the Lord God. And you, son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own minds. Prophesy against them and say, Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the women who sew magic bands upon all wrists, and make veils for the heads of persons of every stature in the hunt for souls. Will you hunt down souls belonging to my people, and keep your own souls alive? You have profaned me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread putting to death souls who should not die, and keeping alive souls who should not live, by your lying to my people who listen to lies. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against your magic bands with which you hunt the souls like birds, and I will tear them from your arms, and I will let the souls whom you hunt go free the souls like birds. Your veils also I will tear off and deliver my people out of your hand, and they shall be no more in your hand as prey, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Because you have disheartened the righteous falsely, although I have not grieved him, and you have encouraged the wicked that he should not turn from his evil way to save his life, 
Therefore, you shall no more see false visions nor practice divination. I will deliver my people out of your hand, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Ezekiel 14 Then certain of the elders of Israel came to me and sat before me, and the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, these men have taken their idols into their hearts and set the stumbling block of their iniquity before their faces. Should I indeed let myself be consulted by them? Therefore speak to them and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, any one of the house of Israel who takes his idols into his heart and sets the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face and yet comes to the prophet, I, the Lord, will answer him as he comes with the multitude of his idols, that I may lay hold of the hearts of the house of Israel who are all estranged from me through their idols. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Repent and turn away from your idols, and turn away your faces from all your abominations. For any one of the house of Israel, or of the strangers who sojourn in Israel, who separates himself from me, taking his idols into his heart, and putting the stumbling block of his iniquity before his face, and yet comes to a prophet to consult me through him, I, the Lord, will answer him myself, and I will set my face against that man. I will make him a sign and a byword and cut him off from the midst of my people, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And if the prophet is deceived and speaks a word, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand against him, and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. And they shall bear their punishment. The punishment of the prophet and the punishment of the inquirer shall be alike, that the house of Israel may no more go astray from me, nor defile themselves any more with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people, and I may be their God, declares the Lord God. And the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, when a land sins against me by acting faithlessly, and I stretch out my hand against it and break its supply of bread, and send famine upon it, and cut off from it man and beast, even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they would deliver but their own lives by their righteousness. Declares the Lord God, if I cause wild beasts to pass through the land and they ravage it and it be made desolate so that no one may pass through because of the beasts, even if these three men were in it, as I live, declares the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughters. They alone would be delivered, but the land would be desolate. Or if I bring a sword upon that land and say, let a sword pass through the land, and I cut off from it man and beast, though these three men were in it, as I live, declares the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they alone would be delivered. Or if I send a pestilence into that land, and pour out my wrath upon it with blood, to cut off from it man and beast, even if Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, declares the Lord God, they would deliver neither son nor daughter. They would deliver but their own lives by their righteousness. For thus says the Lord God, How much more when I send upon Jerusalem my four disastrous acts of judgment, sword, famine, wild beasts, and pestilence, to cut off from it man and beast. But behold, some survivors will be left in it, sons and daughters who will be brought out. Behold, when they come out to you, and you see their ways and their deeds, you will be consoled for the disaster that I have brought upon Jerusalem, for all that I have brought upon it. They will console you, 
when you see their ways and their deeds, and you shall know that I have not done without cause all that I have done in it, declares the Lord God. Ezekiel 15 And the word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, how does the wood of the vine surpass any wood, the vine branch that is among the trees of the forest? Is wood taken from it to make anything? Do people take a peg from it to hang any vessel on it? Behold, it is given to the fire for fuel. When the fire has consumed both ends of it, and the middle of it is charred, is it useful for anything? Behold, when it was whole, it was used for nothing. How much less when the fire has consumed it and it is charred? Can it ever be used for anything? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, like the wood of the vine among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so have I given up the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will set my face against them. Though they escape from the fire, the fire shall yet consume them, and you will know that I am the Lord when I set my face against them. And I will make the land desolate, because they have acted faithlessly, declares the Lord God. Ezekiel 16 Again the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, make known to Jerusalem her abominations, and say, Thus says the Lord God to Jerusalem, Your origin and your birth are of the land of the Canaanites. Your father was an Amorite, and your mother a Hittite. And as for your birth, on the day you were born your cord was not cut, nor were you washed with water to cleanse you, nor rubbed with salt, nor wrapped in swaddling cloths. No eye pitied you to do any of these things to you out of compassion for you, but you were cast out on the open field, for you were abhorred on the day that you were born. And when I passed by you and saw you wallowing in your blood, I said to you in your blood, Live! I said to you in your blood, Live! I made you flourish like a plant of the field, and you grew up and became tall, and arrived at full adornment. Your breasts were formed, and your hair had grown, yet you were naked and bare. When I passed by you again and saw you, behold, you were at the age for love, and I spread the corner of my garment over you and covered your nakedness. I made my vow to you, and entered into a covenant with you, declares the Lord God, and you became mine. Then I bathed you with water, and washed off your blood from you, and anointed you with oil. I clothed you also with embroidered cloth, and shod you with fine leather. I wrapped you in fine linen, and covered you with silk. And I adorned you with ornaments, and put bracelets on your wrists, and a chain on your neck. And I put a ring on your nose, and earrings in your ears, and a beautiful crown on your head. Thus you were adorned with gold and silver, and your clothing was of fine linen and silk, and embroidered cloth. You ate fine flour and honey and oil. You grew exceedingly beautiful and advanced to royalty. And your renown went forth among the nations because of your beauty, for it was perfect through the splendor that I had bestowed on you, declares the Lord God. But you trusted in your beauty and played the whore because of your renown and lavished your whorings on any passerby. Your beauty became his. You took some of your garments and made for yourself colorful shrines, and on them played the whore. The like has never been, nor ever shall be. You also took your beautiful jewels of my gold and of my silver, which I had given you, and made for yourself images of men, and with them played the whore. 
and you took your embroidered garments to cover them, and set my oil and my incense before them. Also my bread that I gave you, I fed you with fine flour and oil and honey. You set before them for a pleasing aroma. And so it was, declares the Lord God. And you took your sons and your daughters, whom you had borne to me, and these you sacrificed to them to be devoured. Were your whoring so small a matter that you slaughtered my children and delivered them up as an offering by fire to them? And in all your abominations and your whorings you did not remember the days of your youth, when you were naked and bare, wallowing in your blood. And after all your wickedness, Woe, woe to you, declares the Lord God. You built yourself a vaulted chamber, and made yourself a lofty place in every square. At the head of every street you built your lofty place, and made your beauty an abomination offering yourself to any passer-by, and multiplying your whoring. You also played the whore with the Egyptians, your lustful neighbors, multiplying your whoring to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore I stretched out my hand against you, and diminished your allotted portion, and delivered you to the greed of your enemies, the daughters of the Philistines, who were ashamed of your lewd behavior. You played the whore also with the Assyrians, because you were not satisfied. Yes, you played the whore with them, and still you were not satisfied. You multiplied your whoring also with the trading land of Chaldea, and even with this you were not satisfied. How sick is your heart, declares the Lord God, because you did all these things, the deeds of a brazen prostitute, building your vaulted chamber at the head of every street, and making your lofty place in every square. Yet you were not like a prostitute, because you scorned payment. Adulterous wife, who receives strangers instead of her husband, Men give gifts to all prostitutes, but you gave your gifts to all your lovers, bribing them to come to you from every side with your whorings. So you were different from other women in your whorings. No one solicited you to play the whore, and you gave payment, while no payment was given to you. Therefore you were different. Therefore, O prostitute, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Because your lust was poured out, and your nakedness uncovered in your whorings with your lovers, and with all your abominable idols, and because of the blood of your children that you gave to them, therefore, Behold, I will gather all your lovers with whom you took pleasure, all those you loved and all those you hated. I will gather them against you from every side, and will uncover your nakedness to them, that they may see all your nakedness. And I will judge you as women who commit adultery and shed blood are judged, and bring upon you the blood of wrath and jealousy." And I will give you into their hands, and they shall throw down your vaulted chamber, and break down your lofty places. They shall strip you of your clothes, and take your beautiful jewels, and leave you naked and bare. They shall bring up a crowd against you, and they shall stone you, and cut you to pieces with their swords. And they shall burn your houses, and execute judgments upon you in the sight of many women. I will make you stop playing the whore, and you shall also give payment no more. So will I satisfy my wrath on you, and my jealousy shall depart from you. I will be calm, and will no more be angry. Because you have not remembered the days of your youth, but have enraged me with all these things, therefore, behold, 
I have returned your deeds upon your head, declares the Lord God. Have you not committed lewdness in addition to all your abominations? Behold, everyone who uses proverbs will use this proverb about you, like mother, like daughter. You are the daughter of your mother, who loathed her husband and her children, and you are the sister of your sisters, who loathed their husbands and their children. Your mother was a Hittite, and your father an Amorite, and your elder sister is Samaria, who lived with her daughters to the north of you, and your younger sister, who lived to the south of you, is Sodom, with her daughters. Not only did you walk in their ways and do according to their abominations, within a very little time you were more corrupt than they in all your ways. As I live, declares the Lord God, your sister Sodom and her daughters have not done as you and your daughters have done. Behold, this was the guilt of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters had pride, excess of food, and prosperous ease, but did not aid the poor and needy. They were haughty and did an abomination before me, so I removed them when I saw it. Samaria has not committed half your sins. You have committed more abominations than they, and have made your sisters appear righteous by all the abominations that you have committed. Bear your disgrace, you also, for you have intervened on behalf of your sisters. Because of your sins, in which you acted more abominably than they, they are more in the right than you. So be ashamed, you also, and bear your disgrace, for you have made your sisters appear righteous. I will restore their fortunes, both the fortunes of Sodom and her daughters, and the fortunes of Samaria and her daughters, and I will restore your own fortunes in their midst, that you may bear your disgrace and be ashamed of all that you have done, becoming a consolation to them. As for your sisters, Sodom and her daughters shall return to their former state, and Samaria and her daughters shall return to their former state, and you and your daughters shall return to your former state. Was not your sister Sodom a byword in your mouth in the day of your pride, before your wickedness was uncovered? Now you have become an object of reproach for the daughters of Syria and all those around her, and for the daughters of the Philistines, those all around who despise you. You bear the penalty of your lewdness and your abominations, declares the Lord. For thus says the Lord God, I will deal with you as you have done, you who have despised the oath in breaking the covenant. Yet I will remember my covenant with you in the days of your youth, and I will establish for you an everlasting covenant. Then you will remember your ways and be ashamed when you take your sisters, both your elder and your younger, and I give them to you as daughters, but not on account of the covenant with you. I will establish my covenant with you, and you shall know that I am the Lord, that you may remember and be confounded, and never open your mouth again because of your shame, when I atone for you for all that you have done, declares the Lord God. Ezekiel 17 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, propound a riddle, and speak a parable to the house of Israel, say, Thus says the Lord God, A great eagle, with great wings and long pinions, rich in plumage of many colors, came to Lebanon and took the top of the cedar. He broke off the topmost of its young twigs and carried it to a land of trade and set it in a city of merchants. Then he took of the seed of the land and planted it in fertile soil. He placed it beside abundant waters. He set it like a willow twig, and it sprouted and became a low-spreading vine, 
and its branches turned toward him, and its roots remained where it stood. So it became a vine, and produced branches, and put out boughs. And there was another great eagle, with great wings and much plumage. And behold, this vine bent its roots toward him, and shot forth its branches toward him, from the bed where it was planted, that he might water it. It had been planted on good soil, by abundant waters, that it might produce branches and bear fruit, and become a noble vine. Say, Thus says the Lord God, Will it thrive? Will he not pull up its roots and cut off its fruit, so that it withers, so that all its fresh sprouting leaves wither? It will not take a strong arm or many people to pull it from its roots, Behold, it is planted. Will it thrive? Will it not utterly wither when the east wind strikes it, wither away on the bed where it sprouted? Then the word of the Lord came to me. Say now to the rebellious house, Do you not know what these things mean? Tell them. Behold, the king of Babylon came to Jerusalem, and took her king and her princes, and brought them to him to Babylon. And he took one of the royal offspring, and made a covenant with him, putting him under oath, the chief men of the land he had taken away, that the kingdom might be humble, and not lift itself up, and keep his covenant that it might stand. But he rebelled against him by sending his ambassadors to Egypt, that they might give him horses and a large army. Will he thrive? Can one escape who does such things? Can he break the covenant and yet escape? As I live, declares the Lord God, surely in the place where the king dwells who made him king, whose oath he despised and whose covenant with him he broke, in Babylon he shall die. Pharaoh with his mighty army and great company will not help him in war, when mounds are cast up and siege walls built to cut off many lives. He despised the oath in breaking the covenant, and behold, he gave his hand and did all these things. He shall not escape. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, as I live, Surely it is my oath that he despised, and my covenant that he broke. I will return it upon his head. I will spread my net over him, and he shall be taken in my snare. And I will bring him to Babylon, and enter into judgment with him there for the treachery he has committed against me. And all the pick of his troops shall fall by the sword, and the survivors shall be scattered to every wind, and you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will take a sprig from the lofty top of the cedar, and will set it out. I will break off from the topmost of its young twigs a tender one, and I myself will plant it on a high and lofty mountain. On the mountain height of Israel will I plant it, that it may bear branches and produce fruit and become a noble cedar. And under it will dwell every kind of bird. In the shade of its branches, birds of every sort will nest. And all the trees of the field shall know that I am the Lord. I bring low the high tree, and make high the low tree, dry up the green tree, and make the dry tree flourish. I am the Lord, I have spoken, and I will do it. Ezekiel 18 The word of the Lord came to me. What do you mean by repeating this proverb concerning the land of Israel? The fathers have eaten sour grapes, and the children's teeth are set on edge. As I live, declares the Lord God, this proverb shall no more be used by you in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. The soul of the father, as well as the soul of the son, is mine. The soul who sins shall die. 
If a man is righteous and does what is just and right, if he does not eat upon the mountains or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not defile his neighbor's wife or approach a woman in her time of menstrual impurity, does not oppress anyone, but restores to the debtor his pledge, commits no robbery, gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with a garment, does not lend it interest or take any profit, withholds his hand from injustice, executes true justice between man and man, walks in my statutes and keeps my rules by acting faithfully. He is righteous. He shall surely live, declares the Lord God. If he fathers a son who is violent, a shedder of blood, who does any of these things, though he himself did none of these things, who even eats upon the mountains, defiles his neighbor's wife, oppresses the poor and needy, commits robbery, does not restore the pledge, lifts up his eyes to the idols, commits abomination, lends at interest and takes profit, shall he then live? He shall not live. He has done all these abominations. He shall surely die. His blood shall be upon himself. Now suppose this man fathers a son who sees all the sins that his father has done. He sees and does not do likewise. He does not eat upon the mountains or lift up his eyes to the idols of the house of Israel, does not defile his neighbor's wife, does not oppress anyone, exacts no pledge, commits no robbery, but gives his bread to the hungry and covers the naked with a garment, withholds his hand from iniquity, takes no interest or profit, obeys my rules, and walks in my statutes. He shall not die for his father's iniquity. He shall surely live. As for his father, because he practiced extortion, robbed his brother, and did what is not good among his people, behold, he shall die for his iniquity. Yet you say, Why should not the son suffer for the iniquity of the father? When the son has done what is just and right, and has been careful to observe all my statutes, he shall surely live. The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not suffer for the iniquity of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. But if a wicked person turns away from all his sins that he has committed, and keeps all my statutes, and does what is just and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the transgressions that he has committed shall be remembered against him. For the righteousness that he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, declares the Lord God, and not rather that he should turn from his way and live? But when a righteous person turns away from his righteousness, and does injustice, and does the same abominations that the wicked person does, shall he live? None of the righteous deeds that he has done shall be remembered. For the treachery of which he is guilty, and the sin he has committed, for them he shall die. Yet you say, The way of the Lord is not just. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way not just? Is it not your ways that are not just? When a righteous person turns away from his righteousness and does injustice, he shall die for it. For the injustice that he has done, he shall die. Again, when a wicked person turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is just and right, he shall save his life. Because he considered and turned away from all the transgressions that he had committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. Yet the house of Israel says, The way of the Lord is not just. O house of Israel, are my ways not just? 
Is it not your ways that are not just? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel, every one according to his ways, declares the Lord God. Repent and turn from all your transgressions, lest iniquity be your ruin. Cast away from you all the transgressions that you have committed, and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of anyone, declares the Lord God. So turn and live. Ezekiel 19 And you, take up a lamentation for the princes of Israel, and say, What was your mother? A lioness? Among lions she crouched, in the midst of young lions she reared her cubs, and she brought up one of her cubs. He became a young lion, and he learned to catch prey. He devoured men. The nations heard about him. He was caught in their pit, and they brought him with hooks to the land of Egypt. When she saw that she waited in vain, that her hope was lost, she took another of her cubs and made him a young lion. He prowled among the lions, he became a young lion, and he learned to catch prey. He devoured men and seized their widows. He laid waste their cities, and the land was appalled, and all who were in it at the sound of his roaring. Then the nation said against him from provinces on every side, they spread their net over him, he was taken in their pit. With hooks they put him in a cage and brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him into custody, that his voice should no more be heard on the mountains of Israel. Your mother was like a vine in a vineyard planted by the water, fruitful and full of branches by reason of abundant water. Its strong stems became ruler's scepters. It towered aloft among the thick boughs. It was seen in its height with the mass of its branches. But the vine was plucked up in fury, cast down to the ground. The east wind dried up its fruit. They were stripped off and withered. As for its strong stem, fire consumed it. Now it is planted in the wilderness, in a dry and thirsty land, and fire has gone out from the stem of its shoots, has consumed its fruit, so that there remains in it no strong stem, no scepter for ruling. This is a lamentation, and has become a lamentation. Ezekiel 20 in the seventh year, in the fifth month, on the tenth day of the month, certain of the elders of Israel came to inquire of the Lord, and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, speak to the elders of Israel, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Is it to inquire of me that you come? As I live, declares the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. Will you judge them, son of man? Will you judge them? Let them know the abominations of their fathers, and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, On the day when I chose Israel, I swore to the offspring of the house of Jacob, making myself known to them in the land of Egypt. I swore to them, saying, I am the Lord your God. On that day I swore to them that I would bring them out of the land of Egypt, into a land that I had searched out for them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most glorious of all lands. And I said to them, Cast away the detestable things your eyes feast on, every one of you, and do not defile yourselves with the idols of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. But they rebelled against me, and were not willing to listen to me. None of them cast away the detestable things their eyes feasted on, nor did they forsake the idols of Egypt. Then I said I would pour out my wrath upon them, and spend my anger against them in the midst of the land of Egypt. 
but I acted for the sake of my name, that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations among whom they lived, in whose sight I made myself known to them in bringing them out of the land of Egypt. So I led them out of the land of Egypt and brought them into the wilderness. I gave them my statutes and made known to them my rules, by which, if a person does them, he shall live. Moreover, I gave them my Sabbaths as a sign between me and them, that they might know that I am the Lord who sanctifies them. But the house of Israel rebelled against me in the wilderness. They did not walk in my statutes, but rejected my rules, by which, if a person does them, he shall live. And my Sabbaths they greatly profaned. Then I said I would pour out my wrath upon them in the wilderness, to make a full end of them. But I acted for the sake of my name, that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations, in whose sight I had brought them out. Moreover, I swore to them in the wilderness that I would not bring them into the land that I had given them, a land flowing with milk and honey, the most glorious of all lands, because they rejected my rules and did not walk in my statutes and profaned my Sabbaths, for their heart went after their idols. Nevertheless, my eye spared them, and I did not destroy them or make a full end of them in the wilderness. And I said to their children in the wilderness, Do not walk in the statutes of your fathers, nor keep their rules, nor defile yourselves with their idols. I am the Lord your God. Walk in my statutes, and be careful to obey my rules, and keep my Sabbaths holy, that they may be a sign between me and you that you may know that I am the Lord your God. But the children rebelled against me. They did not walk in my statutes and were not careful to obey my rules, by which if a person does them he shall live. They profaned my Sabbaths. Then I said I would pour out my wrath upon them and spend my anger against them in the wilderness. But I withheld my hand and acted for the sake of my name that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations, in whose sight I had brought them out. Moreover, I swore to them in the wilderness that I would scatter them among the nations and disperse them through the countries, because they had not obeyed my rules, but had rejected my statutes and profaned my Sabbaths, and their eyes were set on their father's idols. Moreover, I gave them statutes that were not good, and rules by which they could not have life, and I defiled them through their very gifts in their offering up all their firstborn, that I might devastate them. I did it that they might know that I am the Lord. Therefore, son of man, speak to the house of Israel and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, in this also your fathers blasphemed me by dealing treacherously with me. For when I had brought them into the land that I swore to give them, then wherever they saw any high hill or any leafy tree, there they offered their sacrifices, and there they presented the provocation of their offering. There they sent up their pleasing aromas, and there they poured out their drink offerings. I said to them, What is the high place to which you go? So its name is called Bema to this day. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Will you defile yourselves after the manner of your fathers, and go whoring after their detestable things? When you present your gifts and offer up your children in fire, you defile yourselves with all your idols to this day. And shall I be inquired of by you, O house of Israel? As I live, declares the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. What is in your mind shall never happen. The thought, let us be like the nations, like the tribes of the countries, and worship wood and stone. As I live, declares the Lord God, 
Surely with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and with wrath poured out, I will be king over you. I will bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries where you are scattered with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with wrath poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the peoples and there I will enter into judgment with you face to face. As I entered into judgment with your fathers in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so I will enter into judgment with you, declares the Lord God. I will make you pass under the rod, and I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. I will purge out the rebels from among you and those who transgress against me. I will bring them out of the land where they sojourn, but they shall not enter the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord. As for you, O house of Israel, thus says the Lord God, Go serve every one of you his idols, now and hereafter, if you will not listen to me. But my holy name you shall no more profane with your gifts and your idols. For on my holy mountain, the mountain height of Israel, declares the Lord God, there all the house of Israel, all of them, shall serve me in the land. There I will accept them, and there I will require your contributions and the choicest of your gifts with all your sacred offerings. As a pleasing aroma I will accept you when I bring you out from the peoples and gather you out of the countries where you have been scattered, and I will manifest my holiness among you in the sight of the nations. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I bring you into the land of Israel, the country that I swore to give to your fathers. And there you shall remember your ways and all your deeds with which you have defiled yourselves, and you shall loathe yourselves for all the evils that you have committed. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I deal with you for my name's sake, not according to your evil ways, nor according to your corrupt deeds, O house of Israel, declares the Lord God. And the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face toward the southland, preach against the south, and prophesy against the forest land in the Negeb. Say to the forest of the Negeb, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will kindle a fire in you, and it shall devour every green tree in you and every dry tree. The blazing flame shall not be quenched, and all faces from south to north shall be scorched by it. All flesh shall see that I, the Lord, have kindled it. It shall not be quenched. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, they are saying of me, is he not a maker of parables? Ezekiel 21 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, set your face toward Jerusalem and preach against the sanctuaries. Prophesy against the land of Israel and say to the land of Israel, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am against you and will draw my sword from its sheath and will cut off from you both righteous and wicked. Because I will cut off from you both righteous and wicked, therefore my sword shall be drawn from its sheath against all flesh, from south to north. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord. I have drawn my sword from its sheath. It shall not be sheathed again. As for you, son of man, groan, with breaking heart and bitter grief groan before their eyes. And when they say to you, Why do you groan? You shall say, Because of the news that it is coming. Every heart will melt and all hands will be feeble, every spirit will faint, and all knees will be weak as water. Behold, it is coming and it will be fulfilled, declares the Lord God. And the word of the Lord came to me, 
Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also polished, sharpened for slaughter, polished to flash like lightning. Or shall we rejoice? You have despised the rod, my son, with everything of wood. So the sword is given to be polished, that it may be grasped in the hand. It is sharpened and polished to be given into the hand of the slayer. Cry out and wail, son of man, for it is against my people. It is against all the princes of Israel. They are delivered over to the sword with my people. Strike therefore upon your thigh, for it will not be a testing. What could it do if you despise the rod, declares the Lord God? As for you, son of man, prophesy. Clap your hands and let the sword come down twice, yes, three times, the sword for those to be slain. It is the sword for the great slaughter which surrounds them, that their hearts may melt and many stumble. At all their gates I have given the glittering sword. Ah, it is made like lightning. It is taken up for slaughter. Cut sharply to the right. Set yourself to the left wherever your face is directed. I also will clap my hands, and I will satisfy my fury. I, the Lord, have spoken. The word of the Lord came to me again. As for you, son of man, mark two ways for the sword of the king of Babylon to come. Both of them shall come from the same land. And make a signpost. Make it at the head of the way to a city. Mark a way for the sword to come to Rabbah of the Ammonites, and to Judah, into Jerusalem the fortified. For the king of Babylon stands at the parting of the way, at the head of the two ways, to use divination. He shakes the arrows, he consults the teraphim, he looks at the liver. Into his right hand comes the divination for Jerusalem, to set battering rams, to open the mouth with murder, to lift up the voice with shouting, to set battering rams against the gates, to cast up mounds, to build siege towers. But to them it will seem like a false divination. They have sworn solemn oaths, but he brings their guilt to remembrance that they may be taken. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have made your guilt to be remembered, in that your transgressions are uncovered, so that in all your deeds your sins appear, because you have come to remembrance, you shall be taken in hand. And you, O profane wicked one, prince of Israel, whose day has come, the time of your final punishment, thus says the Lord God, Remove the turban and take off the crown. Things shall not remain as they are. Exalt that which is low and bring low that which is exalted. A ruin, ruin, ruin I will make it. This also shall not be until he comes, the one to whom judgment belongs, and I will give it to him. And you, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God concerning the Ammonites and concerning their reproach. Say, A sword, a sword is drawn for the slaughter. It is polished to consume and to flash like lightning. While they see for you false visions, while they divine lies for you, to place you on the necks of the profane wicked, whose day has come, the time of their final punishment. Return it to its sheath. In the place where you were created, in the land of your origin, I will judge you, and I will pour out my indignation upon you. I will blow upon you with the fire of my wrath, and I will deliver you into the hands of brutish men, skillful to destroy. You shall be fuel for the fire. Your blood shall be in the midst of the land. You shall be no more remembered, for I, the Lord, have spoken.
Ezekiel 22 And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, And you, son of man, will you judge? Will you judge the bloody city? Then declare to her all her abominations. You shall say, Thus says the Lord God, A city that sheds blood in her midst, so that her time may come, and that makes idols to defile herself. You have become guilty by the blood that you have shed and defiled by the idols that you have made, and you have brought your days near. The appointed time of your years has come. Therefore, I have made you a reproach to the nations and a mockery to all the countries. Those who are near and those who are far from you will mock you. Your name is defiled. You are full of tumult. Behold the princes of Israel in you, every one according to his power, have been bent on shedding blood. Father and mother are treated with contempt in you. The sojourner suffers extortion in your midst. The fatherless and the widow are wronged in you. You have despised my holy things and profaned my Sabbaths. There are men in you who slander to shed blood and people in you who eat on the mountains. They commit lewdness in your midst. In you, men uncover their father's nakedness. In you, they violate women who are unclean in their menstrual impurity. One commits abomination with his neighbor's wife. Another lewdly defiles his daughter-in-law. Another in you violates his sister, his father's daughter. In you they take bribes to shed blood. You take interest and profit and make gain of your neighbors by extortion. But me you have forgotten, declares the Lord God. Behold... I strike my hand at the dishonest gain that you have made, and at the blood that has been in your midst. Can your courage endure, or can your hands be strong in the days that I shall deal with you? I, the Lord, have spoken, and I will do it. I will scatter you among the nations and disperse you through the countries, and I will consume your uncleanness out of you you shall be profaned by your own doing in the sight of the nations, and you shall know that I am the Lord. And the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, the house of Israel has become dross to me. All of them are bronze and tin, and iron and lead in the furnace. They are dross of silver. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have all become dross, therefore behold, I will gather you into the midst of Jerusalem. As one gathers silver and bronze and iron and lead and tin into a furnace, to blow the fire on it in order to melt it, so I will gather you in my anger and in my wrath, and I will put you in and melt you. I will gather you and blow on you with the fire of my wrath, and you shall be melted in the midst of it. As silver is melted in a furnace, so you shall be melted in the midst of it, and you shall know that I am the Lord. I have poured out my wrath upon you. And the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, say to her, you are a land that is not cleansed or rained upon in the day of indignation. The conspiracy of her prophets in her midst is like a roaring lion tearing the prey. They have devoured human lives. They have taken treasure and precious things. They have made many widows in her midst. Her priests have done violence to my law and have profaned my holy things. They have made no distinction between the holy and the common. Neither have they taught the difference between the unclean and the clean, and they have disregarded my Sabbaths, so that I am profaned among them. Her princes in her midst are like wolves, 
tearing the prey, shedding blood, destroying lives to get dishonest gain. And her prophets have smeared whitewash for them, seeing false visions and divining lies for them, saying, Thus says the Lord God, when the Lord has not spoken. The people of the land have practiced extortion and committed robbery. They have oppressed the poor and needy and have extorted from the sojourner without justice. And I sought for a man among them, who should build up the wall and stand in the breach before me for the land, that I should not destroy it. But I found none. Therefore I have poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. I have returned their way upon their heads, declares the Lord God. Ezekiel 23 The word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, there were two women, the daughters of one mother. They played the whore in Egypt. They played the whore in their youth. There their breasts were pressed and their virgin bosoms handled. Ohola was the name of the elder, and Oholaba the name of her sister. They became mine, and they bore sons and daughters. As for their names, Ohola is Samaria, and Oholaba is Jerusalem. Ohola played the whore while she was mine, and she lusted after her lovers the Assyrians, warriors clothed in purple, governors and commanders, all of them desirable young men, horsemen riding on horses. She bestowed her whoring upon them, the choicest men of Assyria all of them, and she defiled herself with all the idols of everyone after whom she lusted. She did not give up her whoring that she had begun in Egypt, for in her youth men had lain with her, and handled her virgin bosom, and poured out their whoring lust upon her. Therefore I delivered her into the hands of her lovers, into the hands of the Assyrians after whom she lusted. These uncovered her nakedness, they seized her sons and her daughters, and as for her, they killed her with the sword, and she became a byword among women when judgment had been executed on her. Her sister Oholaba saw this, and she became more corrupt than her sister in her lust and in her whoring, which was worse than that of her sister. She lusted after the Assyrians, governors and commanders, warriors clothed in full armor, horsemen riding on horses, all of them desirable young men. And I saw that she was defiled. They both took the same way, but she carried her whoring further. She saw men portrayed on the wall, the images of the Chaldeans portrayed in vermilion, wearing belts on their waists, with flowing turbans on their heads, all of them having the appearance of officers, a likeness of Babylonians whose native land was Chaldea. When she saw them, she lusted after them and sent messengers to them in Chaldea. And the Babylonians came to her into the bed of love, and they defiled her with their whoring lust. And after she was defiled by them, she turned from them in disgust. When she carried on her whoring so openly and flaunted her nakedness, I turned in disgust from her, as I had turned in disgust from her sister. Yet she increased her whoring, remembering the days of her youth, when she played the whore in the land of Egypt and lusted after her paramours there, whose members were like those of donkeys and whose issue was like that of horses. Thus you long for the lewdness of your youth when the Egyptians handled your bosom and pressed your young breasts. Therefore, O Oholaba, thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will stir up against you your lovers from whom you turned in disgust, and I will bring them against you from every side, the Babylonians and all the Chaldeans, 
Picard and Shoa and Koa, and all the Assyrians with them, desirable young men, governors and commanders, all of them, officers and men of renown, all of them riding on horses. And they shall come against you from the north with chariots and wagons and a host of peoples. They shall set themselves against you on every side with buckler, shield, and helmet, and I will commit the judgment to them, and they shall judge you according to their judgments. And I will direct my jealousy against you, that they may deal with you in fury. They shall cut off your nose and your ears, and your survivors shall fall by the sword. They shall seize your sons and your daughters, and your survivors shall be devoured by fire. They shall also strip you of your clothes, and take away your beautiful jewels. Thus I will put an end to your lewdness and your whoring begun in the land of Egypt, so that you shall not lift up your eyes to them or remember Egypt any more. For thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will deliver you into the hands of those whom you hate, into the hands of those from whom you turned in disgust, and they shall deal with you in hatred, and take away all the fruit of your labor, and leave you naked and bare, and the nakedness of your whoring shall be uncovered. Your lewdness and your whoring have brought this upon you, because you played the whore with the nations and defiled yourself with their idols. You have gone the way of your sister, therefore I will give her cup into your hand. Thus says the Lord God, You shall drink your sister's cup that is deep and large. You shall be laughed at and held in derision, for it contains much. You will be filled with drunkenness and sorrow, a cup of horror and desolation, the cup of your sister Samaria. You shall drink it and drain it out, and gnaw its shards and tear your breasts. For I have spoken, declares the Lord God. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have forgotten me and cast me behind your back, you yourself must bear the consequences of your lewdness and whoring. The Lord said to me, Son of man, will you judge Ohola and Oholabah? Declare to them their abominations. For they have committed adultery, and blood is on their hands. With their idols they have committed adultery, and they have even offered up to them for food the children whom they had borne to me. Moreover, this they have done to me. They have defiled my sanctuary on the same day, and profaned my Sabbaths. For when they had slaughtered their children in sacrifice to their idols, on the same day they came into my sanctuary to profane it, and behold, this is what they did in my house. They even sent for men to come from afar, to whom a messenger was sent, and behold, they came. For them you bathed yourself, painted your eyes, and adorned yourself with ornaments. You sat on a stately couch, with a table spread before it, on which you had placed my incense and my oil. The sound of a carefree multitude was with her, and with men of the common sort, drunkards were brought from the wilderness, and they put bracelets on the hands of the women, and beautiful crowns on their heads. Then I said of her who was worn out by adultery, Now they will continue to use her for a whore, even her, for they have gone into her, as men go into a prostitute. Thus they went into Ahola and to Aholaba, lewd women, but righteous men shall pass judgment on them with the sentence of adulteresses and with the sentence of women who shed blood, because they are adulteresses, and blood is on their hands. For thus says the Lord God, Bring up a vast host against them, and make them an object of terror and a plunder and the host shall stone them and cut them down with their swords. They shall kill their sons and their daughters and burn up their houses. 
Thus will I put an end to lewdness in the land, that all women may take warning and not commit lewdness as you have done. And they shall return your lewdness upon you, and you shall bear the penalty for your sinful idolatry, and you shall know that I am the Lord God.